I took cold porcelain clay and I mixed that in with pink acrylic paint just to get a bit a little bit of color. Then I um, rolled up a piece and set that aside. I'm going to roll it up into a ball and leave it there while I'm making the bow. So the bigger piece of clay, I'm just going to stretch that out and make it into a long rectangle. Depends on what kind of bow that you want to make. There's different kinds that you guys can make. This is just um, one technique I used to make the one that I made. So once I had the shape that I wanted, I just took one of the sides and fold that into the middle and did the same thing on the other side. And after that, all I did was I took my finger and tried to shape it a little bit more by pinching into the center and bending so that everything is uh, exactly the same. Here you can see better what I'm doing because I put macro mode on. And just keep molding it until you get a shape that you like. And then place the little ball that you had before, put it in the center, then I took a pin and made a couple of dents into the bow, like that. And I also placed it on my finger and bent it a little bit, that way that when it dries it's a little more bent to the shape of my finger. Then what I did was I took this nail polish cap, it's the same size as my ring size, so it was perfect to mold the other piece of clay um, for the ring part. Now you guys don't have to use clay to have the ring, you guys could use like wire, um, those things that they sell already that's like uh, adjustable ring things but this is just what I used so I just took another piece of clay and stretched it out and kept molding it um, to make it look like a ribbon And that's the back of it. And I just kept on molding and molding until I got my ring. I didn't want to make it too thick, but I didn't want to make it too thin either. And I just smoothed everything out. So taking the pin again, I just made a triangle to cut out a piece to look like a V. That way it just looks more like a ribbon. And this is how it looks like when I was done. I'm just gonna let this dry and when it's done I'm going to paint it and then glue on the bow on top. Like that. So what I did to paint it was just use a dark nail polish to make the shadows and a lighter nail polish to complete everything just because I like nail polish you guys could use regular paint so there's the ring itself and then the bow now for the back of this I had to glue it because it came loose I forgot to smush them together I also made smaller bows with holes in them so that I could make earrings and then these were the first ones that I tried just to practice, so they're kind of ugly and they don't have a, a, a hole in them. And now I glued everything together. So there's the back and the side and everything. I didn't bother uh, painting the 
the back of everything because you know it's on my finger anyways so this is how it looks like on my finger you can see that it's a nice fit thankfully I have that perfect uh, nail polish top so that's how it looks like when it's done you guys can make it smaller less bulky um, different styles different color and here's what I did with the smaller bows I made a bracelet and my nails are not done but the tutorial for this is already up but anyways uh, so there's the bracelet I glued some wire onto the rib the the bows so that I could hang them and here are the earrings that I did using the smaller bows which I just uh, did the same technique that I do all the time I made wire stuff and just wrapped it around in a circle so I could use stud earrings